What is happening YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today right here with me, the Rust Belt Mechanic. So today we're going to throw some more tools into the mix and what are we going to be talking about? Ratchet wrenches. Ratchet wrenches specifically from SP Tools. I've also got some other comparisons to throw into the mix with you just to keep it nice and fair and show you guys some differences in them and between the price points in the market to show you guys hopefully what you guys will be looking for. So when we think about ratchet wrenches, what do you guys think of? Normally the first thing that comes to my mind is gear wrench. They were pretty much the pioneers of the market for the ratcheting wrench. And then a lot of the other manufacturers kind of followed suit with that. Matco, Mac, Snap-on, they all followed suit with that. Heck, even Husky has their own line of ratcheting wrenches out right now. So I've got three or four sets of different ones right here that we're going to be going through and trying out. As you guys can see behind me, this is the new toolbox I picked up from SP Tools a couple of weeks ago. They also sent me some ratchet wrenches to be testing out. I've had a chance to test them out for about a week now, so I think I'm gonna go through the differences between those and some other ones in the market, go over some price points, and see what you guys think about these ratchet wrenches. First up on our list, we're gonna have our SP Tools SP10158. It's an eight piece, 15 degree offset wrench, ratcheting wrench set. This is the standard set. Normally I would have liked to go with the metric one, but we got these just to give them a try out. Now these are a very impressive set of wrenches, I will have to say myself. Now I've gotten to use these wrenches for about a week, week and a half now in the shop. I took them in and we really started wrenching on them. The biggest things I really enjoy about these are their nice slim profile. The chroming on these is absolutely fantastic. There has been no imperfections to the set that I've got, but I really like that everything on this is low profile. It's a nice thin slender wrench, a nice gripping opening and a nice 12 point end here for the ratcheting box end. Now, when we as technicians start messing around with a lot of these ratchet wrenches, we start off with some of the cheaper ones, but when we get our hands on some of the really nice ones, they just they feel that much better in our hands. Now, it's hard to explain for that one, and for the money, some people not, might not want to justify that one. But SP Tools, I think, gives you a really good reason to look at both of those areas. This eight-piece, 15-degree offset set is actually only like 120 bucks. 120 bucks? Holy crap, that's like less than what gear wrench costs. This is also a fantastic tool. The ratcheting box end wrench of these is gonna be a 72 tooth design. And if you guys have used box end wrenches or ratcheting wrenches for any amount of time, you understand the feel of them. The ones that actually take like, you know, most of the turn before they start clicking, those ones are just absolutely horrible, especially in tight places when you're underneath dash, in tight places in engine bays. Now these ones will not disappoint you. At four degrees plus or minus one there on the turn radius before it clicks is in a really awesome range. The competitor here, Snap-on, they're gonna have just a sllightly higher amount. They're gonna have an, an 80 tooth set. Now an 80 tooth, that's gonna get you just a little bit more at about a three to three and a half degree before each click in the ratchet starts clicking. Now the biggest difference I'd have to say is in the quality of the ratcheting design inside of these. It's gonna be kind of hard to pick it up, but you can hear Compared to something like, we'll say a gear wrench. It's more of a dull, tinny click to it. Whereas then when you go to the snap-on ones, they are, they're pretty smooth. Like really, really smooth. I don't think I've seen any ones that have been better than these, but obviously for the price point, they better be freaking amazing. The price point on these SP Tool ones at 119 bucks for this set is absolutely phenomenal. When you compound the price along with the fact that these things are absolutely stellar, they're a nice thin design to them. The selector on this is the other thing that I really like. The selector is a really thin design flat to the head. It's not gonna be protruding any at all. It's gonna be easily selectable, slides really easily without catching and then able to have that nice, really fine tooth click on top of it. The open end to it has their own little patented design where it's got 
deep grooves in offset here to be able to grip some of those fasteners just a little bit better. We'll grab one of these snap-on ones to compare here. Now the snap-on ones, they have their flank drive which has a couple of teeth here inside of it. The SP Tools one, they don't really have any teeth here, but like I said, they do have the indented corners here to be able to hopefully grab in some of those areas. The Snap-on one, I do give it to them that they do have these are able to be serviced. Now, when you're talking serviceability, you know, on a tool truck, the guys are able to swap out these ends, but I've also had an issue with whenever these things break, the tool truck doesn't always have these in stock. So I don't know if it's hard to get them or what it is with that, but they do tend to break here and there. But for these price range, they hopefully don't break very often at all. The snap-on ones, this set, now granted, this is a 10-piece metric set and we're comparing to an eight-piece standard set. So it's a little bit off in the price range on that one. But the snap-on set here, which is part number SOXRRM710, that one's gonna run you $505. Over $500 for a 10-piece ratcheting wrench set. Now, when you're the best of the market, I guess you can, you know, kind of, you know, get what you want out of them, but is the top of the market really worth that much extra? Now, in my mind, you know, having those is a good comparison route. Now, if I was looking at another set, I'd be going over to SP Tools and I'd be having a look at their wrenches. When you can have this kind of quality right in their ratchet wrenches and be able to save a fourth of the price or even, you know, at most to match a set, like a half of the price, I would definitely recommend to look at a set of these. The next set we're gonna have up for comparison here is the SP Tools SP10311 11 piece metric flex head gear ratcheting wrenches. This one runs from eight millimeter up through 19 and is a very comprehensive set. I'm gonna be comparing these to the gear wrench set that I have. These are the gear wrench. This is just a smaller seven piece ratchet wrench, fully flex head design. Neither of them have a selector switch or a locking mechanism on either side. So it's a pretty good comparison in that one. Now in using this ratchet wrench set, I've been used to using my flex head, either the blue point ones or my gear wrench ones here at home. My gear wrench ones were the ones I started off with like 10 years ago. I've also got a buddy who has a set of the XP gear wrench ratchet wrench set. And I wish I would have grabbed that set to be able to compare this to because it is also an 11 piece set as well. And the teeth, they match up a lot more. Now when we're talking the feel of the teeth, the gear wrench is just a little bit more clunky. than the SP Tool one. The SP Tool ones, they, they feel a lot better. Uh, I don't like that the gear wrench has a little bit of imperfections in the sides of their wrenches. I don't know how well the camera is gonna pick up this one, but here in the side of the wrench, there's gonna be a, some knurls here and there, like it got ran through the machine and got caught on the edges here and there. Whereas the SP Tools is nice, even all the way across. Chrome, vanadium, there it's a really high strength steel and that would be just about the same as the gear wrench ones as well. They said they use the same steel. Uh, it does have a directional arrow mark here on the ratchet wrench so you can have a look at it and see that without having to guesstimate. And you know, it saves you an extra three seconds, but the gear wrench one does not. Now, when we're talking uh, serviceability of these, again, neither one of them have really much serviceability to the ratcheting area of it, but the flex head does have the Allen screws there on the end to be able to service the ends if you really need to replace the heads, I guess. As far as the insides of the ends of the wrench, again, the SB Tools is gonna to be the same with their nice little indent groove design to be able to grip inside of there. And the gear wrench one really does not have any kind of teeth or gripping area. The XP ones, they do have a little bit of knurling on the inside of these. So I guess it would be some kind of a comparison to say that to those. Now, when we're talking price point, there is a little bit of difference in these. The gear wrench set, if you're talking about the comparable 11 piece uh, XP set, uh, those ones, ones are gonna run right around $300 or so. And then the SP Tools one, they're gonna be running right around 329, 330. Sometimes you'll catch them on sale and you might be able to get a better deal on them. As far as the tooth count, tooth count is exactly the same. 72 teeth on both sides of it and they're able to grip 
easily with a 12 point head on the ratchet and, and wrenches. In this certain point, the SP tools are a little bit more expensive, but for the feel and the difference in the ratcheting of it, I would say that the SP Tools one compared to like the Gear Wrench uh, XP set, the SP Tools ones are just going to be slightly better. And for that extra, you know, 20 or $30, I would actually rather purchase the SP Tools set. Now, I didn't really cover a whole lot of packaging because it's all really to the preference of the buyer on that one. The snap on ones, they always come in this blow molded case. And for 500 bucks, I would imagine that they probably should come with really something fancy to go with that. SV Tool one, they come in this nice roll up bag with some Velcro straps to be able to take them on the go. Me as a standard in the shop mechanic really doesn't have a need for this to go bag. And which is why I didn't really include much of the packaging for these because me personally, I use these toolbox widgets. Uh, that of which the newest, latest, greatest toolbox widget designs are going to be coming out there actually available for pre-order right now. I'll be sure to put a link for that one in the description below where you guys can check those out and vote for those for one of the best tools of the year over on P10 Magazine. Make sure you guys go and check those out. They would be a great combination to be able to put the SP Tool uh, wrenches in here, which I will definitely be doing later, which is also another reason why I really haven't done a toolbox tour of my new SP Tools toolbox here at the home garage because I'm working on getting some organizational bits that I think you guys will really enjoy. Overall, these wrenches are something that I am actually going to continue to use and if there's any kind of updates on wearing, durability, or anything to them, I will be sure to bring these to you guys as well. Now, I know that there's all other kinds of brands of ratcheting wrenches on the market today, but I think that these were pretty good comparisons to the newer SP Tools. SP Tools is kind of newer to the market here in the US, and I just wanted to give you guys some comparisons to the tools that I've been crunching with and working with here over the last couple of weeks. Now, hopefully here coming up, I'll be doing lots more reviews on a couple of more SP Tools as well, so make sure you guys stay tuned into that one. SP Tools was also awesome enough to be able to give me a coupon code for you guys as well. Make sure you guys look down in the description below for that coupon code if you guys are interested in getting yourself a set of these wrenches. That's about all I've got for you guys on this specific upload. Make sure you turn on that bell notification for when I come out with cool new videos like this one. I've got a whole lot more coming down the pipeline for you guys coming up here soon. I've got a quite a few more videos to be able to edit from the truck show this last weekend, but I wanted to be able to get you guys some cool tools here to break up the middle of the week for you. I appreciate you guys tuning in for all the support that you've given me over the last couple of weeks. It has been an awesome blessing here on the channel. Thanks again, and as always, you guys stay awesome.